This video is about uh, hooking up and using that enclosure that I made for my Laser Master 2 Pro. So I did order a dryer vent off of Amazon, just one of the little standard vents. Turned out it was not the proper size for the steel tubing that I had, so I had to kind of tape on a um, adapter on the back of it. But just basically a you know a dryer exhaust vent, and I had a piece of the steel flex dryer vent laying around that I decided to use and uh, you can see that goes up and out the window there and um, they're a little bit big to get on the blower but I just put some uh, some foam tape in between it and it slipped right on there nice and tight so here we are you know I decided to try it out and my wife needed a couple more of those little labels that I made her so I decided to start playing with that in the enclosure and at the same time try to figure out the air assist how to get that working right what that actually does so I, I took that little artwork that I had and I um, I noticed once I turned on the air assist that the pressure and everything else on it really made a difference on the engraving so I had to start adjusting some of my the speeds and power settings I was using before but actually you can see there's absolutely no no smoke in the air it all gets pulled right out and even when I open that up it uh, pulls the air across the top and gets it out now that one there I, I didn't have the air air assist quite right so I just uh, you know kept running things and playing and uh, turning it up and down a little bit until I figured it out because um, there's no real set numbers to go by when you just uh you know have like a needle valve and a pressure regulator you're trying to figure out but after a while you know i did get it so it was working pretty good and i was getting uh so much clearer text and i'll show you a little later but one thing i ran into is the uh, holes i had put across the back of the enclosure there in the bottom you don't need them i um wound up covering them over with a piece of plywood there so they, they turned out not being required because the air all flows in and it makes an envelope coming up around the side and stuff. So I just uh, kept, you know, kept adjusting things and playing on this uh, scrap piece of, this is a um, piece of one and a half millimeter thick Baltic, well it's not really a Baltic birch, they call it that, but it's plywood. And actually you can see I'm cutting there and this really does generate quite a bit of smoke um, you can see it coming out all around and actually there you can see that one of the problems with air assist that it actually gets underneath the panel and kind of turns it into an air bearing under there and I didn't really realize it was happening when I was cutting these little guys one at a time but I'll show you once I get into running the sheet and you can see back there that I've got the fan running on usually the second or third speed most of the time but here we go, I'm, I'm doing a sheet of those little tags and I started by going through and just uh, does all the text on them first, the way it's set up. And you know, as you can see, no smoke or anything. And then I'm going back through and I'm just burning some, some little lines around there and stuff. And you can see they're going pretty good, but all of a sudden uh, you can see the whole sheet shifted sideways. Uh, the air from the air assist gets under when you start cutting through and uh, just moves the sheet around. So I wound up here, you can see I flipped it over and I started again. And this time I actually taped it down so the sheet couldn't move. And you can see I had much better luck at this point. But um, once I started cutting right in front of that flame sensor, I ran into a problem where the um, alarm went off and it shut down and then I made the mistake of hitting the reset button which I didn't realize just kind of shuts it down and you're lost you wind up uh, starting over again so I did have uh, the flame sensor go off on me three times during these tests that I'm doing here and um, you know I did uh, I did find out figure out that you can just push this the power button quick to reset it then I started playing with just some text for another a poem I had my wife write up to um, balance out that bathroom poem we have on the other wall. And you can see here I've got the air assist set up and 
get really good um, nice crisp text now and I'm not getting that black burn on the bottom of it the fans on number two and you know everything is smoke free but I'm able to uh, you can see it you get a nice um, you don't get that burn look when you do it with the air assist you get a uh, a nice lighter colored text and I'm just amazed how well this enclosure actually does work so I let this run it did I did run it slow and it did take a while but as you can see I'm using light burn air and it's kind of a wonderful software my license actually expired last week so uh, it still does keep on running once your license expires if you don't you know buy the updates for it so that's a good thing but you know here you can pretty much see it's uh the air assist once it's set up right it does make a big difference and there's a chunk of katab where i've got to go over and start cutting up now uh to make a frame for this this is about a 30 year old piece i hacked out with a chainsaw so i'm not going to show that part i'll just show the end making the frame but uh you know back to this it's still still engraving and uh absolutely zero smell smoke or anything else in the air and it's really just about dead silent now with the top closed on it you can't hear anything and that fan is extremely silent also so there you can see how um you know the air assist does make a difference it does give you a much um cleaner up you know not the burnt looking at the bottom of the text but a really nice clean burn on it stuff so you know, I guess I'm really happy that I did do that in the end. And I will say, having this in an enclosure with zero smell really uh, is nice now. Anybody that buys one of these lasers should really do something to control the fumes from it. So there's my uh, poem all done. Um, I'm going to go over and work on uh, framing that up a little bit now. And in the meantime, I've got to go back and cut some registration grids on the uh board that i put in there and this was just a you know spray painted interior so it does make quite a bit of smoke i don't know if you can see that there but everything goes right out no smell at all and this here um will allow me to register it square anywhere i want on the table because what i'm finding out is you're best to stay away from the front edge if you're going to do any heavy burning or cutting or anything because that flame sensor is a little bit sensitive and then i just went online for the fun of it and i found a uh, picture of a woodchuck that i decided to try to just print out here and um, i want to make a little plaque with it and uh you know that went really good uh air assist really didn't that came out really nice and clean uh that was just on a piece of plywood but that was first try and uh, all my settings worked and you know i was real happy with that and okay i'm over here gluing the frame together now you can see i've got it all clamped up and getting ready to put that together a couple coats of polyurethane and that's a catawba that's a real highly figured catawba the way i cut it and i got the sign in there now and uh ready to go upstairs and hang it up and this was just a fun little sign. I had my wife come up with a little poem. Just kind of to fill in this one area in our guest bathroom. Just give people, you know, a little something to, to read. And you can see this is the other poem that I did of hers uh, last year on the wall there. So, um, And there's what the view is from the loo. You look outside, you can see our maples in our garden. So, uh you know, it kind of explains it all, and uh, I thought it was cute. So now I'm back to the woodchuck, and I've got a couple of these cherry cookies I've been saving for a long time, and um, they're all dry and everything, and I started burning on them. And you can see I'm getting really much different results uh, with the same settings on them. So the end grain does burn a lot better, and I think the cherry's got a lot of resin in it that helps, but... Then again, I started doing the text around it, and I had the settings wrong, actually, but the flame alarm went off again and stopped it. And what I did is I pushed the reset button again, and I didn't realize that. That just resets everything. So what I wound up doing in the end is just moving the cookie up to the back of it, away from the sensor. I flipped it over and, uh, you know, did my artwork on this side now. 
and here you can see it's a I've got the settings on the text a little bit better now but I don't have the air assist on I wanted to get a little bit blacker burn on this cherry but um, there you can see you don't want to you don't want the heavy burning to happen up in the front there I'm finding out so I you know I didn't have the air assist on and I did get a, a much blacker burn but I do have some overburn but you know that's easy to take care of and there's a light burn picture of it but all I do is I take and I spray on a coat of uh, rust-oleum clear before I do anything to it and then I go back and I'll take this spray it with clear and then I'll go back and I'll sand it and sand all that over burn off and then put another coat of clear on it that's what it comes out like so I just wanted to show you the first couple of projects in that new enclosure there. And uh, it's definitely worth building something to enclose your laser if you have one of these. Um, just makes it so much healthier and no more smoke to deal with or anything else. So now I'll be able to try things like, uh, you know, engraving metal and, and engraving metal or leather and cutting it out. Stuff like that. That should be fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.